I have come across this video called Cybersecurity Expert demonstrates how hackers easily gain access to sensitive information. The link is in the description. It's three minutes. Please watch it. In that video, Kevin Mitnick, if you haven't heard of Mitnick, you really gotta Google him up, shows how a Trojan or an exploit can be easily injected into your computer via the USB port. First of all, I can confirm that this is perfectly legit, because Mitnick is a real hacker and he does know his stuff. What he didn't demonstrate, however, is what's inside this magic cable. So I decided to make this short explanation video with some more technical detail on how this actually works. This is Ron Martino. The guy in the video is pressing a button on the remote control and then a window pops up in the lower left hand part of the screen and there's some text flashing shortly and then the window disappears. So, what did actually happen there? Well, a regular Windows Run input box was open and some text was typed into it. If you're on a Microsoft Windows computer, you can easily invoke that function by pressing Windows R. This was originally intended to launch programs, open files and folders, and access internet resources. For example, if you type in Notepad and press Enter, Notepad will open. So, if you're a hacker, you can type in the name of any program to be downloaded, installed and executed on that computer. Bam! Infected. Wait, but the guy in the video did not type anything on the keyboard. You're right, he did not. What he did instead was plug in the so-called keyboard emulator, which is a tiny USB device that pretended to be a computer keyboard. This virtual keyboard typed the text he had pre-programmed on that computer, and that eventually led to the computer being infected. So, how does that work? Well, you know, you can plug an external keyboard to any USB-enabled device, and it's gonna work right away including your Android smartphone or tablet, by the way, you use a converter cable called OTG for that. So, if we take apart a USB keyboard, we can see a small CPU chip inside. That is the converter that translates your keystrokes to USB keyboard protocol codes and sends them over the USB interface to the computer. Now, if we build a small circuit and program a custom processor to act as a USB keyboard, we can have it send over any key codes and we don't need the actual key presses for that. We just program them into the microcontroller memory. This functionality can be easily achieved by using, for example, the Amateur Arduino board. Of course, I'm not gonna do anything malicious here. I'm just gonna pop up the run window and start Notepad. And the key sequence to do that is Windows R, Notepad, Enter. Here you go. Note, however, that this particular device is only gonna work on a Windows computer. But if we need it to be Mac OS or Android compatible, we just use a different sequence of key codes. Okay, but how did Mitnick manage to achieve this with a USB cable? That's plain simple. The Arduino board is pretty big, but the microchip itself is tiny. What you have to do is design a smaller logic board and just mount the entire device inside the USB cable connector. So, the magic cable demonstrated by Kevin is just another USB keyboard emulator. However, it has a bit more complex functionality. It's remote controlled and probably reprogrammable meaning you can change the actual text typed in remotely. Will it function as a USB cable then, you might ask? Probably yes. If it didn't, people would naturally get suspicious. You can have two USB devices in the same port, so my guess is Mitnick's cable also had a built-in USB hub, otherwise data transfer would not work. Truth is, a hacker can disguise any USB device as a USB cable. It could be anything, a microphone, or a camera, or even a device that kills your computer by a high voltage discharge applied to the USB port it's plugged into, also activated remotely by means of a built-in USB modem. Okay, 
How would you go about preventing this? First, all the cables mentioned are actually USB devices. That means they will always produce a standard USB sound on insertion. Like this. Now, this is not a hacker device, it's just a data cable for a very old mobile. And the reason we hear the tone is because it also has a chip inside. But I can confirm no modern smartphone uses a chipped cable. Both iPhone and Android cables are merely wires with connectors. So, no modern smartphone cable would produce the USB insertion sound. You should only hear the sound when you connect it to the mobile. Second, if you really need to plug in a USB cable you're not confident about, log off your regular user account and relog on as guest. That will reduce the chances the malicious virtual keyboard would be able to install anything on your computer. And third, do not use your Windows computer at all. Plug in the USB device in question into your Android mobile. Yes, it could also be infected, but USB viruses are usually written for the Windows platform, meaning they won't do any harm to your mobile. And that would be it for today. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. This was Ron Latino. Be good.